Good evening, everyone. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com and welcome. Actually, it's not evening. It's 2.20 in the afternoon. I feel like it's evening because I'm up like at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it is not evening. It's afternoon. It's, it's clearly daylight. I'm looking outside. Uh, anyways, I wanted to go over ACHN. This was a gap down today. I did like this the best of anything. When I went back and looked at this, I said, you can't be serious. Um, this actually went from the original entry almost a dollar. Hard to believe. You know, this is specifically why I teach people to play gaps correctly. Because what if you tried to buy this today? You would have lost. And if you, every time it tried to do a dip back around and scoop, if you tried to buy it, look what would have happened to you. That's probably what actually made this work so well. In fact, let me look at that five minute here. Just really nice being sold off. So what did this do? Well, this gap down. This gap down in some kind of news-related thing this morning, and I liked it. I thought it was a very nice gap, and it is a good gap. And it actually worked out and went to the dream target, went past the dream target. Dream target was three dollars on this today, and the low is two eighty-seven. It's completely done now. There's nothing to do with this. Uh, but this is a very, very good gap to go over, specifically to go over not only directional bias, which the correct direction was down, and to play the gap down, but also to see really what is the correct entry in something. Like, if you wanted to go long this, which you should never have wanted to do, there really was no proper long entry. So you should never have gone long anyways. Like, even if you like this to go long, there was no proper long entry to do. There were proper short entries to do. And actually, there were two. There were two proper short entries here that I'm looking at on this five-minute chart as far as being exact. And one ad that you could have done. And, and that would have been aggressive to do at this point, but it really was perfect. The stock set up here and triggered, and you could have been in it with a stop very, very, very tight over the high of the day. Now, it broke down here as typical of these things do. It broke the low and backed up immediately. I'm so fully aware of the way these things act, and it's just not a big deal. There was actually um, a squish here. I call this a sandwich. If you wanted to be aggressive, you could have taken more in there. But, you know, this really wasn't something you would have wanted to be aggressive on today. You, you take the normal entry, put the stop in, and you let it ride. And you get out at the first target. Or if you really had conviction, you could have held it to the dream target. It actually did break through the first target at 325 pretty quickly and went down to 320, but it didn't break 320. Second entry was in here. So one of the students that said, you know, where were the proper entries? Here was a proper entry. This is very aggressive to do. Sometimes I do do this. I didn't think this was warranted today on ACHN. And then this was the second call in here. Uh, and this very well could have worked. And if you really had conviction, it was going down to the bigger area, you could have done it. I myself am a little surprised today that this broke as hard as it did because, again, the market was holding very well. But nothing surprises me when in weak stocks because if they're weak and the market is bullish, things want to fall off a planet because no one wants to hold on to a position in a stock or a company if it's not performing so people get out. But it is extremely important to not under, only understand how to rate gaps, to choose which stock symbol to trade in the day or to watch to, to short or buy if you're doing a bullish gap, but also to understand entries. And, and the one gentleman who did the class recently uh, had, had said, you know, the, the entries is the thing you really have to really have to get to know well. And that's, that's true. I mean, that is true. I think it takes practice. You have to spot the right thing. But if you have conviction in the overall gap or the direction itself, you won't you know, you won't get tripped up if something takes a little teeny weeny 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 bit of time to set up. My rule for this was I wanted it to set the high of the day by no later than 9.45. It actually did do that. And even for a $3 price point stock, this actually worked out very well. So after you have the overall understanding of gaps and the gap ratings down and are accurately rating gaps, then the next thing you do have to really focus on is the entries. Because you want to make sure that you're getting correct entries and putting the stop at the correct place. Otherwise, what happens is if you don't have conviction in what you're doing with the entry, you will take it, kill it, take it again, then chase it, 
kill it, put the stop too tight, do all kinds of things. And I put stops tight. I really, really do, but I put them at the right place and I know where they're supposed to be so that if the trade fails, I'm out and that's the end of the story. And if it goes into work, then I'm in it. I particularly like things to go very, 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 very quickly in the morning. Do they always do that? The answer is no. Sometimes things take time. This actually went to the dream target by lunchtime and pretty much was over then by 1230. You can't expect anything else out of this at this point now. But you could have lowered the stop in here if you didn't get out of the whole thing. Or you could have just retaken the trade. If you really had conviction it was going to the dream target of $3, you could have redone it. There's nothing to do in this here now. Tomorrow you just have to let it be. Uh, but what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sign of weakness in here. And again, going over the exact entries is important because if you don't know how to take entries, even if you get the directional bias in a stock correct, you will have a difficult time making money consistently with the right risk to reward. And in the end, that is important because you don't want to just take things late, kill things. What happens is if you don't know how to take the entry right, you take it, you're, you're not certain, then you kill it, you take a loss, then it, then it, so you see it goes, then you take it again, then you're late, then you don't get the good price, then you're past the real entry, then you're too tight with the stop. I mean, there's a whole host of problems that go on when people don't have confidence or conviction in the right entry. What gives me my overall confidence and conviction level in my entries is number one, reading price correctly. Number two, knowing exactly what entry I'm supposed to be looking for and supposed to get. And number three, the gap, the gap rating. The gap rating tells me when I like something that enables me to be aggressive in trades and take them into that beginning period. And uh, and I, I have to have that. I have to have that conviction to trade something in the gap. If I have conviction in a gap, 100% conviction in the gap, I'll do all kinds of things. If I don't, I don't want to do anything in it. And again, this varies from day to day, but I use my 26-point rating system to point me in the right direction. And that's how you do it. But the entries do need time for people to get used to doing in practice. I think once you see them over and over and over again, you get good at it. And you have to learn exactly what is an entry, what is not an entry. So if anyone's interested in the entries course, feel free to reach out to me and email me. My name is Melissa at thestockswish.com. I do teach a class specifically just on entries alone. Uh, it is a, a, a pretty hefty long course. I spread it over two days. Um, it's 12 hours. So it is a very um, bulky course of lots of information and it is advanced. I think that entries require an advanced skill set. So if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.